What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, it's time to get back to the money. You guys have had a three-day weekend, but that is coming to an end. Monday morning, first thing, we'll be back in our bag doing what we do. If you ready to make some money this week, let me know down in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Help this video get at least 1,000 likes. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, I'm kicking it off for you guys for this particular video to get you started for the month of april okay we have still been operating at an all-time high and nevertheless i want you guys to be prepared for the opportunities because when you're at a high you have to go fishing you have to learn how to fish for the opportunities i got two for you guys for this upcoming month that i want you guys to plug and play one is an etf okay and that is the iwm this one is the Russell 2000, if you guys aren't familiar with that. Small caps, again, QQQ, all-time high. SPY, all-time high. When you're at a ceiling, you can't go much higher. Yeah, they can, what they do, call it melt up. They can do that, but that's going to be slow. This is where some growth is going to be. In the past week, guys, this one is up 3.3%. Or almost seven dollars in the past month it is up 3.3 percent in the past three months it is up four percent and year today it is up six percent compare that to the s p compare that to the qqq okay and then you can see how much more room to run this has versus the q's and the spy so in terms of where to park your money i'm giving you guys one etf that's going to be the russell 2000 okay and then next guys i'm going to put a stock on your radar to consider and that one would be tesla okay ticker symbol t s l a simple fact that the matter is they're sitting at 177.59 at the time of this recording but on the week they had a bounce back week up 3.8 percent almost four percent on the month though check this out I always want you guys to understand when there's blood in the streets, it's time to eat. You need to go fishing for sales and deals in the market. This is one of those ones, okay? Great company, leader in the EV space on top of other things, but they're down 12% on the month. So nothing else, guys. You got at least a $24 move, but much bigger than that, guys. Just want you guys to know that's in store for this one. And look at this in the past three months they're down 30 percent now what is typically categorized as a correction is a 10 percent move so they're down 12 percent on one time frame they're down 30 percent on another okay factor that in look for the opportunities now listen your job is to dollar cost average while they're down in the dumps I've been backing up the Brinks trucks while this has been in the $160 range. Whenever I can get that level, that's my cue to go heavy, okay? And these levels right here, I like the dollar cost average. Year to date, same thing. They're down nearly 30%, 29% to be exact. And so again, you want to look for opportunity, okay? We don't know if this is the month that they're gonna pop. Most likely, it won't be. They'll have some good days, they'll have some bad days, but the bad days are your cue to buy. One quick tip, guys, okay? You can always do this, all right? When you have hope for something, let something bottom. So when this gets to the 160s, watch this, guys, and don't front run this. When it gets to the 160s, I want you guys to look at something like this right here, okay? It ain't going to take this long, but I want you guys to learn this. You guys see this expiration date, January 17th? It won't take this long, but I want you guys to understand something. If you can get this... $33 call, okay, or this 180 call, but again, not right now. Let it go to the 160s, and then this price will be this strike price will be different, okay? But I want to paint a picture for you, even if you try to front run this, which is what you shouldn't do. If you let this come to 160s and then you go out to January 17th, if it's in the 140s and you go out to January 17th. Guys, it's going to run back up to 160, 170, 180. But ultimately, look at this break even price, 213.08. Okay. It will go back to that price 
in no time. It ain't going to take a year to get there. OK, but think about the amount of life changing money you can make. Mind you, you make money just with it heading in the right direction. So when the downward pressure stops and then when the reversal happens. So listen to this test is going to go down for the next one to three months. So you guys got an opportunity to be loading up. You don't have to rush it right now. I just want to put a strategy, a wealth building strategy on your radar. This is called a long dated call. OK, some will call it a leap option. OK, January 17th ain't, ain't quite a year. But if I chose the March 21st date, that would be a year. OK, but my point is to see you guys be able to get in something, get in position, knowing a upward move in the future is coming. Upward moves happen in three months and six month time periods when a stock has went down 30%. Write all this information down, guys. This is life changing stuff. You're not going to get in school. You're not going to get at Harvard. You're not going to get at MIT. You're not going to get on CNBC. Write this down so you know these type of things, okay? Three to six months it takes for a move of this magnitude to manifest. So you need time so that when it goes to and through, you make a boatload of money. You can make a boatload of money just getting to the level, but you make a boatload the further beyond 213 that it goes. OK, keep that nugget in mind. All right. Let me back up out of here. OK. And then one quick lesson. OK, look at the spy year to date. They are up 11 percent. OK, in the past three months, they're up 10 percent. Look at this straight line that it's making and understand that when you have went up in a parabolic way, you can go higher. So don't don't definitely try to short this. OK, this ain't what you do right now. I'll tell you guys when to short because we're going to make money when this come down. But what I want you to know, you're going to get pullbacks. That's what you will get. This is a pullback right here, right here. Boom. March 15th. That's a pullback. Then it shot back up. Look at right here. March 5th. That's a pullback. Then it shot back up. Look at this. February 21st. That's a pullback. Then it shot back up right here january 31st that's a pullback and then it shot back up you want to look for the pullback because that is decent opportunities for profits for your account okay understand guys it's about being strategic this is at a ceiling this is already at a high the iwm the one the first etf i share with you guys is the one that has massive move room to run that's where you want to be that's why those are the two plays that are on my radar for april guys okay get with it get money okay do me that favor guys listen be ready to make some money this week in both directions money team y'all get ready we knocking them off the park it's been way too long i don't like three-day weekends everybody else get in the discord because we will make sure you guys are locked loaded and ready to go for the spy and for tesla in terms of how to trade it first thing monday morning okay listen guys i won't hold you guys up we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace